KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, the 10th of January. I'm James Spam, Alabama looking at a very busy day tomorrow. Potential for severe thunderstorms. A lot to talk about, so let's take a look. We'll start with the upper air look this afternoon. Got a very deep trough digging down across the western states, providing very dynamic support for severe weather going on now in Texas and Oklahoma and the event we are expecting here tomorrow. Here's a look at the uh, visible satellite view, and you can see a number of big blowups out there across Oklahoma and Texas in advance of that trough. We have a number of tornado warnings in effect as we speak uh, west of Dallas-Fort Worth and the parts of eastern Oklahoma, and that'll be affecting Alabama tomorrow. Here's the radar. Now, we've got some thunderstorms over West Alabama, some thunder in progress over parts of Green, Sumter, Marengo counties, but nothing severe. Uh, rain back into eastern Mississippi. We'll have a chance of rain tonight, but the severe weather threat comes tomorrow. There's the expanded radar view and the storms you see in Texas and Oklahoma. Those are strong to severe. In fact, those extend up into parts of uh, southwestern Missouri this afternoon. But at least it feels good. Temperatures are in the upper 60s and low 70s in most spots. Birmingham, 69. Good chance we'll see low 70s in here tomorrow. But up north, it's brutally cold. Temperatures way below zero this afternoon over parts of Minnesota, North Dakota. But again, for the next week, the upper winds will not allow that to drop to the south. Wow, pick a color, any color. How about those watches and warnings? We've got just about everything but the kitchen sink in here. Uh, tornado watches for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, flash flood watches from Texas up into parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Winter storm warnings in effect from uh, near Kansas City up to about uh, Grand Rapids. And we've got wind advisories down here in the deep south. Most of Alabama under a wind advisory. This is for Saturday because of strong gradient winds. So here's the uh, severe weather outlook for today and tonight. This runs through 6 a.m. tomorrow. We've got a moderate risk in the broad zone from Dallas, Fort Worth to Memphis, level four out of five. The broad risk extends from uh, really parts of East Texas up into Missouri and uh, the western part of Tennessee and Kentucky. These are the probabilities. This is the tornado outlook, a 15% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a point through parts of North Louisiana and South Arkansas through tonight, and really a 50-50 chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a point in that moderate risk area. But, of course, we're focused on tomorrow. This is the day two outlook. This is after 6 a.m. tomorrow. The SPC has pulled that enhanced risk north. This is the probabilistic outlook, and you can see that there's a 30% chance of severe storms within 25 miles of a point for most all of Alabama, up into Tennessee. And that hatched area means that there could be some significant severe weather. That includes the possibility of a strong tornado or two that would be EF2 or higher. Uh, there's the Alabama look. You can see the enhanced risk over almost all of the state, level three out of five. And we'll talk about the specifics on this in a moment. And then for day three, which is Sunday, a marginal risk of severe storms well to the east on the coast of the Carolinas. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The east is pretty wet. Alabama rain amounts about three inches. And we'll see a good bit of that on Saturday. More rain in here early next week. Check modeling the GFS. This is the 12Z run. Valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. Negative tilt trough moving in at the surface. A deepening surface low is on the Ohio River uh, south of Indianapolis. Nasty snow and ice and the cold air north of that. Of course, we're in the warm sector down here. Here's the high-res NAM. This is at noon. The main line in eastern Mississippi. And again, notice those discrete cells in advance of that. And we got to watch those. There's no guarantee they can create these sustained updrafts. But if they can, those storms could be dangerous with the possibility of tornadoes. And within the line, we'll have the chance of damaging straight-line winds, maybe widespread damaging straight-line winds. And our advice tomorrow, it's going to be if you are under a severe thunderstorm warning, take the normal action you would take if you are under a tornado warning. We think that's very prudent. This is 3 o'clock, that line coming into Birmingham and Huntsville. 
And then by 6 o'clock, it's moving over into Georgia, really approaching Atlanta at that point. A couple of more quick severe weather parameters on this uh, day tomorrow. This is the uh, low-level jet, and again, this is so impressive. Uh, this is about 5,000 feet off the ground. The max up there is 89 knots. We could see winds of over easily 100 miles per hour, and a lot of that's going to come down to the surface. That's the reason we're advising people to take severe thunderstorm warnings like tornado warnings tomorrow. And, of course, that also creates these high SRH values, storm relative helicity. And any updrafts that get going, they could clearly produce a tornado in spots. Some people say, well, this is the limiting factor. There's not much Cape. Well, this is off the NAM. The European shows a lot more instability, and I think this is correct. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw low, maybe mid-70s in spots tomorrow. And it's going to be very windy, too. Uh, the pressure gradient winds will be 15 to 30, gusting to 40. That in itself might knock down some trees. So it's going to be mostly a daytime event. Uh, the window for West Alabama, 10 to 4. Birmingham, Tus uh, Birmingham, Cullman, Clanton, the I-65 corridor, noon to 6. East Alabama, Anniston, Gadsden, Alexander City, 2 until 8. And, of course, we've talked about this for days, and we don't want to create storm anxiety. We know it just it's going to happen, but if you've got a way of getting the warnings, got a safe place, know where you're going, have helmets, readiness plan, you're good. We'll get through the day just fine. But, again, we ask that you remind others that you know that might not be aware of this that tomorrow is going to be a pretty active day and people need to be plugged in and be very weather aware. Sunday, we're dry, partly sunny with highs in the 60s. No cold air involved in this. But Monday, the moisture comes right back. Uh, rain uh, for the southern two-thirds of the state by afternoon. Tuesday, wet, rain likely, maybe some thunder. We'll be in the 70s, very mild. Don't think we have any severe weather. But Wednesday, got a deep surface low south of Chicago. And uh, look at the instability of very unstable air surging up into the state. So there could be some strong storms on Wednesday. The high will be in the low 70s. Be aware of that. And then Thursday, we finally get into drier air. And uh, highs probably go back in the 50s. And this is a week from today, Friday the 17th. Still troughing in the west, ridging in the east. That looks dry and seasonal with maybe some rain and snow north of here. Let's go out to Saturday the 18th, the next day. Another wet weather system, surface low near Cincinnati with a trailing front. That might bring some strong storms. And then Monday the 20th, everything flips. Now we got a ridge in the west and a trough in the east. That looks much colder if this verifies. you got a 1,041 millibar high that's sitting over Iowa. Check the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about 4 inches. Temperatures next week, very mild. We stay in the 60s and 70s, but notice that sharp drop-off around Sunday the 19th, and this is the CPC outlook, January 18th through the 24th. Those red colors are gone. In fact, a pretty good chunk of the country will likely see below average temperatures by then if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Well, I've notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here by 7 o'clock Monday morning. If you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.